Have you ever wondered, what if the universe works in a completely different way than we perceive? Our universe is a grand tapestry of mystery and wonder. Its vast expanse is filled with galaxies, stars, and planets, all governed by laws we're still trying to fully comprehend. From ancient times, humans have looked up at the sky, attempting to decipher the mysteries that surround us. The journey has been long and winding, with our understanding of the universe evolving over centuries. In our quest for answers, we've stumbled upon mind-bending concepts that have reshaped our perception of reality. Among these, two theories stand out, the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. These are not just scientific theories, they are radical reinterpretations of how we view space, time, and gravity. The special theory of relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein in 1905, challenged the traditional notions of absolute space and time. It presented a world where space and time are intertwined into a four-dimensional fabric and where the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit. A decade later, Einstein went on to present the general theory of relativity, a theory that explains gravity not as a force, but as a curvature of this space-time fabric caused by mass and energy. It was a theory so revolutionary that it transformed our understanding of the cosmos. These two theories, though intrinsically linked, present different aspects of our universe. They have opened up new avenues of thought and have led to technological advancements that have shaped our modern world. Understanding these theories is like holding the keys to the universe's secrets. It's like peering through a cosmic lens, one that reveals the intricacies of our universe and our place within it. To delve deeper into the secrets of the universe, we must first understand these two theories. Our journey into the realm of the unknown has just begun. The universe, with all its complexities and wonders, awaits us. So, let's embark on this cosmic voyage together. Scene script. Imagine you're on a train moving at a constant speed. Would the laws of physics be any different? This question brings us to the doorstep of the special theory of relativity, a revolutionary concept that turned our understanding of physics upside down, the brainchild of Albert Einstein. This theory fundamentally changed how we perceive space and time. The special theory of relativity is based on two main postulates. The first is the principle of relativity which states that the laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames of reference. In other words, whether you're sitting still in your living room or cruising on a train at a constant speed, the laws of physics remain the same. The second postulate is the constancy of the speed of light. It asserts that the speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all observers, regardless of their motion or the motion of the source of light. This speed is a staggering 670 million miles per hour and it doesn't change. Whether you're rushing towards a beam of light or running away from it, its speed relative to you remains constant. Now these postulates might sound straightforward, but they have some mind-boggling implications. Let's delve into a couple of them. Time dilation and length contraction. Time dilation refers to the idea that time can stretch or dilate. According to the special theory of relativity, a moving clock ticks slower than a stationary one. So if you take a round trip on a super fast spaceship, you might find that less time has passed for you compared to those who stayed on Earth. This isn't a flaw in your spaceship's clock, it's a fundamental aspect of our universe. Length contraction, on the other hand, is the phenomenon where a moving object seems shorter in the direction of its motion. So if you're watching a train zoom past you at nearly the speed of light, it would appear squished or contracted. Again, this isn't an optical illusion, but a real physical effect. However, it's crucial to remember that these effects are not noticeable in our everyday lives, as they only become significant at speeds close to the speed of light. One of the most profound outcomes of the special theory of relativity is that it intertwines space and time into a four-dimensional framework known as space-time. This framework suggests that space and time are not independent entities but are interconnected parts of a single fabric. So, the special theory of relativity tells us that space and time are intertwined, creating a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. The implications of this theory are far-reaching, redefining our understanding of the universe and paving the way for Einstein's general theory of relativity. 
which we'll dive into next. But what if our train starts to speed up or slow down? Would the same rules apply? This question leads us into the fascinating realm of the general theory of relativity, an extension of the special theory of relativity, where the special theory of relativity gave us a new perspective on motion and the speed of light. The general theory takes us a step further. It introduces gravity and acceleration into the picture, and in doing so, it fundamentally changes our understanding of the universe. Let's imagine the universe is a trampoline. If it's empty, the surface is flat, but place a bowling ball in the middle and suddenly the surface dips and curves around the ball. This is essentially what the general theory of relativity suggests. The universe isn't flat, but it's curved by mass and energy. This might be a bit difficult to comprehend, but think of it this way. The sun, a massive body in the solar system, is like that bowling ball on the trampoline. It distorts the fabric of space-time around it and the Earth, like a marble, rolls along this curved path. This is what we perceive as gravity. The general theory of relativity doesn't stop there. It also predicts the existence of gravitational waves. Imagine you drop that bowling ball onto the trampoline. It would create ripples that move across the surface, right? Similarly, when massive objects in the universe accelerate or change direction, they create ripples in the fabric of space-time these ripples are gravitational waves and they travel at the speed of light, carrying information about their cataclysmic origins. This concept may seem far removed from our day-to-day -day lives, but it's been confirmed by scientific observations. In 2016, scientists detected gravitational waves for the first time, a century after Albert Einstein predicted their existence. This groundbreaking discovery opened up a new way for us to study the universe. So when we talk about the general theory of relativity, we're not just talking about a, a theoretical concept. We're talking about a theory that has been tested and confirmed, a theory that changes how we view the universe. It tells us that the universe is not a static, unchanging stage, but a dynamic, changing entity. The general theory of relativity thus introduces us to a universe where space and time are not flat, but curved by mass, and energy. It's a universe that's far more complex and fascinating than we could have imagined. And it's a universe that we're still striving to understand through the lens of this extraordinary theory. So we have two theories of relativity, one for constant velocity and one for acceleration. But how are they really different? An intriguing question indeed. And the answer lies in their very names. The special theory of relativity as proposed by Albert Einstein in 1905 deals specifically with objects moving at constant velocity. It's special because it only applies under special circumstances when there's no acceleration and no gravity. In this realm, space and time merge into one continuum, and our traditional understanding of these dimensions takes a back seat. Speed of light remains constant for all observers, no matter how fast they're moving relative to each other. This leads to some mind-bending conclusions like time dilation and length contraction. A moving clock ticks slower, and a moving object appears shorter. Sounds strange, but it's been experimentally verified. Now, let's shift gears and delve into the general theory of relativity, Einstein's masterpiece from 1916. This theory is general because it includes acceleration and gravity. Here, gravity isn't a force pulling objects down, but a curvature in the fabric of space-time caused by mass and energy. Think of space-time as a trampoline. When you place a heavy ball in the center, it causes a dip, a curve. Now, if you roll a smaller ball, it'll move along this curve, not because of an invisible pulling force, but because of the shape of the trampoline. That's how gravity works in general relativity. It's an effect of curved space-time. So the key difference between the two theories is their scope. The special theory deals with objects moving at constant velocity in flat space-time, while the general theory includes acceleration and gravity, describing the universe as a curved space-time continuum. Another crucial difference is how they redefine our understanding of gravity. In the special theory, gravity doesn't exist, while in the general theory, gravity is the curvature of space-time. Interestingly, the special theory of relativity is a special case of the general theory. When there's no gravity, space-time is flat, and the general theory simplifies to the special theory. It's like a square is a special case of a rectangle where all sides are equal. 
In essence, while both theories describe the fabric of the universe, they apply under different conditions and offer unique insights. They've revolutionized our understanding of the universe from the microscopic realm of particles to the vast cosmic scale of black holes and galaxies. And that, my friends, is the beauty and mystery of relativity. You might wonder, why should we care about these theories? Do they have any practical implications? Well, let's dive into the world around us to find out. Relativity isn't just a concept that lives in the abstract realm of theoretical physics. It's a part of our daily lives. Take, for instance, the Global Positioning System, or GPS, which we rely on for navigation. These satellites are moving fast and are far from the Earth's surface. This means that the effects of both special and general relativity come into play. Special relativity tells us that moving clocks run slow, while general relativity tells us that clocks further from a massive object run fast. Without correcting for these factors, our GPS coordinates could be off by several kilometers. So every time you use your GPS to navigate, you're indirectly using Einstein's theories. Particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider also rely on the special theory of relativity. These machines accelerate particles to speeds close to the speed of light. At these speeds, the particles gain mass due to the energy they've acquired, a prediction directly from Einstein's E equals mc2 equation. Even our ability to image black holes, like the historic image captured by the Event Horizon Telescope, is rooted in the general theory of relativity. The light that was captured had to navigate the warped space-time around the black hole, an effect predicted by Einstein's field equations. And it's not just about grand technologies or cosmic phenomena. Relativity has changed the way we understand the universe. It's shifted our perspective from a static, absolute universe to a dynamic, relative one. It's given us the concept of a space-time fabric, black holes, gravitational waves, and the expanding universe. These ideas have not only shaped scientific thought, but also have influenced philosophy, literature, and art. So while the theories of relativity may seem abstract, they have profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our everyday life. As we have seen, the universe is far more fascinating and complex than it appears at first glance. We started our journey into the realm of relativity by discussing the special theory of relativity, introduced by Albert Einstein in 1905. This groundbreaking theory, which argues that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers, and that the speed of light in a vacuum is the same, no matter the speed at which the observer is traveling, revolutionized our understanding of time and space. We then moved on to the general theory of relativity, a deeper dive into the fabric of the universe. Proposed by Einstein in 1916, this theory extended the special theory to include gravity, suggesting that massive objects cause a distortion in space-time, which we perceive as gravity. It's the reason why apples fall from trees and why planets orbit the sun. Afterwards, we compared these two theories, highlighting their similarities and differences. The special theory of relativity deals with objects moving at constant speeds in a straight line, while the general theory of relativity includes accelerated motion and gravity. Both theories, however, have radically reshaped our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. We also explored the impact of these theories on our daily lives. From GPS technology to understanding the life cycle of stars, the implications of Einstein's theories extend far beyond the realm of theoretical physics. So, there you have it. A simple introduction to the complex world of relativity. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are still many questions to be answered, many mysteries to be unraveled. So, keep asking questions, keep exploring. The universe is a vast, fascinating place, and there's always more to learn. Remember, the more we learn about the universe, the more we realize how much there is still to discover. So keep exploring and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on physics and the universe.